Hello and welcome to another Archimatics tutorial. Today, let's take a look at building a wind turbine. To start making our wind turbine, let's begin with the blade. This teardrop shape looks pretty good. Um, we can just grab one of its parametric handles and drag it out a little bit so it seems to have a good um, size. We'll extrude it by connecting it to um, an extrude node. Change its height and its bevel, bevel rounding. And let's take a look at that. That's starting to look like a blade. Um, and the next thing we want to do is twist, twist it. So we want to twist deformer node. And we can go in there and do the, we're going along the Z axis here. So we want to twist along the Z. But it doesn't look very good. Um, it's just kind of like almost just turning it. If we look at the wireframe, we can see what's going on. There just isn't enough detail in the mesh for it to really deform it. So what we're going to do is go into the plan and increase the subdivision, uh, so the plan input of the extrude. And now we have enough detail in the mesh to uh, work with the twist. Let's go back to shaded and take a look. So I think at this point, let's just add a new material for the entire default material for the entire model. Uh, just pick this gold color, um, and we can continue to manipulate the original teardrop shape, uh, and it will still non-destructively be going through the whole um, node hierarchy and um, allowing us to adjust at each node along the way. So we're going to put these all into a grouper. And what this gets us is, um, one way to think of a grouper is actually as a kind of null object so that you can, uh, if we move the blade over, um, when we rotate the grouper, we're not rotating the blade around its normal origin, but around the origin of the grouper. So yeah, that's one way to, to think of groupers as adding um, null objects to the hierarchy. So let's feed this into a radial repeater. And we see that the z-axis, which the blade is going along, is actually the tangent of the radial repeater. So we can just easily rotate the blade until um, it seems to be going radially out. And then we can decrease the radius of the radial repeater and um, decrease the number of sectors or um, items repeated. Um, so let's add a little bit more detail. Uh, we need some sort of arms that come out. So we go back into the grouper because we want this, whatever this um, piece is, to really be part of the, the blade assembly. Um, so I just added a cylinder and we can just slide it around and manipulate its radius and bevel. And that's starting to look pretty good. Okay, so now we can come back out of this level and work on the um, <coughs> excuse me the assembly of all three. So let's add an axis, an axle to this, or or some sort of a, a hub. That's another cylinder, and we can just copy and paste the cylinder to make another one. Just give a little bit more detail. So these are coming outside of that grouper because the grouper that we've got so far is just for the blades. All right, so while we adjust um, any node within the node graph, no matter where it is and what um, uh, grouper level, uh, we can continue to modify. Now we're gonna need to turn this thing up. So I'm gonna group all of these nodes so that's the other grouper with the two cylinders in it. And um, do the negative Z axis so that we're in the XY plane. And now when we twist this grouper, uh, sorry, when we rotate this grouper, um, we can see it rotating as it should. Um, adding a cylinder for the mast. And we'll just bring it up and out a little bit. And then that mast should somehow be attached to the thing. So we'll just, I guess maybe this is the turbine housing coming out the back. Um, and let's see, if we adjust the mast a little bit, 
make it a little bit uh, bigger so it looks like it's sturdy enough to hold this thing. Uh, and it might also be nice to maybe taper this a little bit so it's not just um, a big tall straight cylinder. So what we can do is go into um, the extrude node for this and uh, let's see, we're going to taper it a little bit, so we use this taper parameter. Uh, maybe we'll make it a little wider at the base and taper some more. And yeah, there we have it, our wind turbine. So we can go ahead and group these two nodes. And now we've got the whole wind turbine as its, as its own object. And uh, now that it's an object like this, we can sort of, we've encapsulated all the details, but we can still cycle click on any item until we get to its node. So without even opening up the grouper and going into the node graph, we can select something that's down inside of the node graph and continue to manipulate it. Um, and here we're manipulating the taper Z, um, oh, sorry, the twist Z and uh, of the twist deformer, but we can also um, use the transform tools of any of these sub nodes as well. Um, yeah, so we might as well make a field of these. Um, to do that, we just can feed this into a grid repeater and adjust its bay dimensions with the interactive handles. Um, maybe randomize them a little bit. Uh, we can add a jitter node and just jitter in the X and Z. And there we have our field of wind turbines. That's it for this video and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.